Hey everyone, welcome to Build Series in New York City. I'm Lauren Moraski from HuffPost. Our next guest catapulted to fame in 2009 on the hit Nickelodeon series, Big Time Rush. Since the show ended in 2013, he's been working on solo material and is now out with his debut album, Echoes of Departures and The, De the Endless Streets. Logan's here to talk about that and his new single, Pull Me Deep. So please give a warm welcome to Logan Henderson, everyone. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, welcome back to Build. We have so many fans in the audience today, so we're so excited for you not only to chat with us about the new album, but there's a guitar there, so you know what that means. There will be a we're performance. Gonna be, we're going to be playing some music. Yeah, we're going to play some tunes, including right. the new single, which we're very excited Pull about. Me deep. Yes. Congrats. It came out this week, essentially. Um, and uh, just tell us a little bit about it and you know what you wanted to say and do with that the record. Yeah. Um, well, I'm a little bit of a hopeless romantic. So it's, it's really kind of about letting your guard down and, and being OK with getting lost with someone, someone that you go back to time and time again. So would you say that song and most of this new music that you've been coming up with has been pulling from personal so, uh, experiences? Some it's very personal. Yeah. Uh, I, I tend not to like talk too much about really what it is, because um, it's, it's kind of a story, and it's meant for everybody else to listen to mm -hmm. and, and make their own. But the music that I've been making now is much different from even part one. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure exactly where it's going to lie, but this is what we got for you so far. That's great. Okay, so part one's already out. So that means, of course, you, you've been working on part two. I don't know. Uh -oh. I mean, there, it, some of it belongs to part two. Some of it is, is like I said, very yeah. different. So I'm yeah. not sure exactly where it lies. But we're taking it one step at a time. One step at a time. Okay. Yeah. So once twenty thirty, you know, once Big Time Rush ended, all the hype of that, you know, settled in. How did you sort of start the process of saying, okay, I'm gonna do this on my own, I'm gonna become a solo musician, this is, this is what my next step is? Uh, I laid low. Yeah. I just went yeah. away for a while. That was the easiest way to kind of get away from everything. And I think my headspace wasn't in, a, I wasn't in the right space to write the music I wanted to write. So I really did have to take some time off and, and find out who I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. And, and who, who do you think that is? I don't know. It changes every day. I'm, yeah. st I'm still figuring that out. Still <laughs> yeah. We all are, right? Absolutely. I mean, I feel like we're all trying Absolutely. to figure out who, who we are in that way. So when you sit down and, and write music, I mean, what's the process like for you? It's always different. Sometimes it starts with music, mm -hmm. like for Bite My Tongue and also Pull Me Deep usually starts on the guitar. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm notorious for taking out my phone and writing notes and doing voice notes whenever I'm around people and it'll be really awkward. And it, it, like, it'll be in a small group of, of people and I'll like have like a melody that I'm doing. They're like, what are you doing, man? Like, hello, are you here? <laughs> but I'll just, get, I'll just get lost. So yeah, it, start, it starts uh, in, in many different ways. Would you say that there's one new song that you've put together that really says, this is me, this is what I wanna sound like, this is where, where I wanna go? They all do in different ways. Pull Me Deep, I had been wanting to jump on, uh, as, as far as musically goes, I've been wanting to jump on that level for a while. And I was waiting to do it the right way. And even even now with the songs I've been making are very much more in this kind of arena, in this, in this mood, this vibe. Is there some material and music that you've been listening to that's been inspiring you lately? Oh man, I listen to everything. Yeah. I don't, everything, Brockhampton, the new Cudi, the new Cudi stuff is really great. Uh, still, listen, still listen to Kanye. I, I went through all his whole catalog and just seeing that type of growth is is great. Uh, Billie Eilish is great. Um, the list goes on. Yeah, yeah. The inspirations have run deep. Absolutely, great. absolutely. I'm still listening to old stuff. I'm still listening to Police. I'm still listening to D'Angelo. Yeah. I'm still listening to Georgia Smith. I mean, I, again, it just it never stops. Do you have a, like, a first musical memory of this first song that you played or you sang or that you kind of performed? Oh, that I, that, that you, me? yeah, that oh, you man, as, that's a, really, as a kid. Uh, I remember singing in the car with my dad, Eagles. That was one that we always listened to. A lot of B.B. King, huh. a lot of old blues yeah. and rhythm. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. You came from, your pa parents enjoyed music, right? Very musically Absolutely. inclined, they right? Are. So music was around, yeah, right? Yeah, my sister plays piano. She sings. She has a lovely voice. My mom sings. She, she, she has a good voice. <laughs> uh, my, dad, my dad is not much for one, but he has a real appreciation for music, which uh, he gave to me. So yeah, yeah. We so we are all kind of musical. I grew up in a musical type family. At what point did you say, "Hey, you know, this is what I want to do. I want to be in showbiz." Oh 
Oh, I don't know. I don't think it was ever showbiz. I really enjoyed acting whenever I was younger. Mm -hmm. Something that I was really attached to. Something I'm still attached to. Yeah. Something I'm still pursuing. Something I'm still looking forward to. And music, I tried to think about when was the first time I was like, yeah, music. And I think it was just always there. Yeah. I don't think yeah. there was ever a time. It was just like, oh, that's what's going on. It's a part of Logan. Yeah. It's a part of you. I, I was always singing and yeah. stuff. Well, you know, speaking of acting, of course, we saw you on Big Time Rush. You've done some other acting gigs. I mean, right. what would you want to do down the line in terms of acting, in, you know, in, as in terms of a part? Or where do you see yourself? I don't know. The part thing is hard. Really, whatever I connect to. I'm all about reading, so I, I love reading new scripts. And I think it really is about what can I attach myself that's going to be great, mm -hmm. not just good. What is something that I can really give to a character and really give to a story? And that's really what I'm most concerned with. One of your first gigs was like uh, Friday Night Lights, right? Was that was that was yeah. the yeah that's that's way back in the day. That's, right, that, that was, was one of the first ones. Right, how old were you back then? I mean, don't, young. You I don't, don't, don't. He's don't like, know. I don't want to go. I don't there. know. Let's not go there. I have no idea. No, it's, it's hard to it's hard to remember back. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly how old I was. Yeah. 15, 16. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Yeah, it's Why funny not? how the fans you, the fans know more about you than you. Do you yeah. find that? Every now and again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even know yourself, <laughs> Logan. Get out of here. But you have such a connection with your fans. Can you talk a little bit about that Absolutely. and like what you want to, you know, what what it, they mean to you at this point? I mean, I I do kind of view it as family. It's part of the reason why I'm making music, and I think the if, if not the main reason I'm making music is I've always enjoyed growth and always enjoyed connection and love and kind of spreading that. And I think if we get to do that together and everybody's down for the journey, that is like that's special. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I know we're going to hear some music live today, yeah, but and you have a couple of gigs lined up, right? Billboard Hot 100 Fest is Sunday. Nice. Saturday and Sunday. Anybody here going? Are you Anybody? going? All right. There we go. All right, yeah. we got some fans. We're going. going to have some fun. That's going to be a good time. So what is a set like that? Because you're, you know, you're playing amongst a bunch of people. There's going to be a lot of people playing that day. Oh, absolutely. How, how do you create a set and, and music for a show like that? Um, well, the music's there. The set for, for the festivals is a little bit different for me. It's not necessarily my own show, but you are bringing a piece of who you are to the stage. So I have really talented musicians that I'm hanging out with. Um, Kyle and James will be with me. And uh, we just have some good music that we're ready to share. It's, the nice thing is it doesn't have to be exactly like the record. We love to kind of riff off and play off of uh, everybody's musical talent. So that's, uh, that's the best part. I love going to a show when, when the artist changes it up a little bit. Absolutely. Because otherwise you could just listen on, online. You I, know, I like, get too bored with it anyways. Yeah, absolutely. You recently tweeted that the best decision you ever made was not listening to anybody else's decisions or something to that effect. Straight up. Right? OK. <laughs> so what, elaborate a little bit on that. What does that mean? Mean? What does that harken back to? Um, really, just sometimes people like to talk a lot of shit, kind of. So every now and again, you really have to listen to your intuition. You have to listen to uh, how you're raised and, and and really trust in yourself. A lot of people can um, derail you from a, a true, like a true, great idea, mm -hmm. especially an idea of who you are as a person. And I think the only person who knows it the best is you. So. I agree with that. You guys agree? All right. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm, I'm into that idea. I mean, would you say that's part of what kind of keeps you grounded? That, you know, having rose to fame at you know a, a relatively young age. Yeah, I have I have a great uh, support system. Yeah. Yeah, I because I, I can I can I can I can go off uh, from time to time. So uh, family is huge. I, I talk to my mom like every day. Oh. I love my mom. I love my whole family, but yeah, I talk to them like every day, and 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 the people that I have surrounded with me. It took a long time to find uh, truly great people, mm -hmm. uh, and this is I think one of the, like, this is a good time in my life right now. Yeah, you yeah. feel like you're kind of like, you're feeling it, like you, you kind of, you're just getting to know who you are. As we As we talked about at the start of the interview. Yeah, a big, a big time for me for growth and, and for all sorts of um, possibilities. And do you feel like you're also growing as a musician, as an artist too? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And how so? Like, in what ways do you feel like you're- Anytime important? I step in the studio, I figure something else about me uh. Uh, musically and, and just kind of who I am. And so that's, been a great process to just like lock myself in the studio. What would you say when you think back at the time um, of being on Big Time Rush? Like, what was it like at that hype um, of that show? They, we didn't have a whole lot of time to slow down, so because of that, you don't get to do a lot of self analysis. And I think it's really important to work hard, but also have time off where you can really figure out what's going on. And because things were moving so fast, very rarely did I do that. 
and it was is is some of it was a little bit of an emotional roller coaster. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's been nice to have time off and to really figure out um, what I want to say and be poignant with everything that I do, be specific, and and make it great. Yeah. Have you? Um, do you still keep in touch with the guys? And if so, like when was the last time you I saw up? Kendall? Played him a lot of new music. Played him "Pull Me Deep." Um, and he really loved that jam. I haven't talked to James and Carlos, and it's been it's been a quite some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he liked the jam. He would yeah, he yeah. say yeah yeah absolutely. Okay, that's good to see. That's good to hear. Yeah yeah. I mean, I'm sure you've been asked this a ton of times, but like, if there is ever a talk about a re reunion uh, of sorts, like, what would it, what would you think it would look like? Oh, I have no idea. It's not even in my vision. Yeah. 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 It's not even yeah. what I'm paying yeah. attention to. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> No, I just, I, I, I think everybody would love a reunion, um, yeah. but it's, um, don't wait on me. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've got too much going on. Yeah. I mean, you're a busy guy. Yeah, you're, it's, it's time to take an, another journey. You're, I don't <laughs> want to keep on reading chapter one. I read it before. Right, we're moving on. What, yeah, yeah. Right. That's what's up. I feel, I feel like that could be the start, no, but, no, but the truthfully, start of the song. Truthfully, I think, yeah. it, it, that, and that relates to a lot of people too. Sometimes people get caught up with the past or doing the same thing over and over again. It's like, how do I get out of here? And it's, it, it's really hard, but you, you, it's, sometimes you gotta move on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're living in LA these days. You've been there for quite some time, right? LA and Vegas, I go and back Vegas. and forth. Oh, Vegas too, mm -hmm. all right. Originally from Texas. Originally from Texas. Uh, you still kind of have roots in Texas? Still, your family's there? My so? family's there, so that very much are my roots. Yeah, so yeah. you go back there quite a bit? I, I don't really get a whole lot of time, but once or twice a year. Yeah. It's always super special. I eat way too much. I laugh way too much, and uh, we have a good time. What do you do when you actually do have downtime? I like to be outdoors. So a lot of uh, a lot of outdoor stuff. I don't know. I got so many different moods. Sometimes I want to lock myself in a room, watch movies for the whole day, or do absolutely nothing. Sometimes I want to go take an adventure and take a little road trip, go camping. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of just uh, spur of the moment kind of guy. I love it. You know, you mentioned earlier just, you know, playing uh, your music for some of your former bandmates and other people. You you have so many people that you know in the industry. Is there someone else that you kind of like go to to say, hey, gut check. What, what do you think about this? Like, you know, listen Absolutely. to this new album. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of people. I think musically I'm meeting a whole lot of new people, uh, people that I look up to, people that have great records and also people that have been doing this for a long time. So I really count on them to kind of mentor me and and um, give me some good grounding. One of the people that you've known f through the years is Demi Lovato. We recently um, saw her go through some, some things. I know you sent out mm -hmm. your love and support for her. What's one of the, your favorite memories of, of being together or you know, catch, catching up with an old friend like that? Um, I, she um, is just uh, a wonderful spirit. So I don't think there's any one memory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, before we end uh, our portion, I'd love to get to just like some fun Q and A questions, like quick, yeah, quick little round, quick little round. Um, what's the first concert you ever attended? Oh man, that's hard. I did I, so many different concerts whenever I was younger, so uh, that's really hard. Honestly, I think the first one was Creed. Shout out Creed. Creed. <laughs> that, it's, my cousins took me. I was like, what's going on? But I remember, I remember Creed. Uh, but. After that, it, it was it was like all sorts of great stuff. I remember seeing uh, James Brown was really cool. Uh, Coldplay, Jay Z. I saw Kanye back on that like first record, so that was like a whole different Kanye. That was the old Kanye, just not this new Kanye. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, I've seen. I've been to a lot of shows. I've been to a lot of shows. Yeah. Third Eye Blind has always been an old time favorite of mine. Nice. So yeah, yeah, lots of shows. A lot of fun uh, artists that you mentioned there. What about the last show you watched or binge watched? Oh man, that's hard. Uh, I know because he's a busy guy. You don't have me to and my no, we we got we have some downtime. It's always whenever we're driving. Uh, me and my guitarist Kyle, we watch Big Mouth every. I don't know if you've seen that. It's it's a ridiculous show, but it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I, every now and again, some bad reality TV. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, what about one of your favorite albums or songs of all time? I know it's a hard one to pick, just one. But. It's hard. I think uh, an album that I go back to just because of the songwriting and just because um, he was just a really interesting character uh, is Elliot Smith, Figure Eight. Is, it's a, just a yeah. massive record. Really, really very, cool. Very emotional. Very Absolutely, kind of like very. Feels. You yeah. get the feels. Yeah, I think that that's, uh, and, I, and I dig that kind of stuff. That one, Radiohead, they've had some albums that have uh, really stuck with me as, as far as just sounds and sonically. 
Uh, one of my favorite songs is a song for you. I don't know if you've heard. A lot of people have done the rendition. Yeah, for you. If you don't know it, so a song for you. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if I know. I'm mean, sure it's when I hear song. it. Beautiful song. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Do you ever do it in concert? Do you ever do I it? I've not done it? It, it. I'd have to really work on it. Yeah. You can't mess that thing up. Yeah, exactly. You don't yeah. want. You want to do it justice. Absolutely. Uh, last question before we get to audience questions. One of your favorite films of all time. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> We're getting really deep here, guys. All right, man. These are these are some <laughs> good questions. A favorite film is really hard. That's. I'm trying to think what's stuck with me because I'm such a big movie goer. I don't know. That one's hard. What about the last film that you actually saw in the theater? Uh, there was one I watched before this. I'm, I'm forgetting right now. Oh, I watched the new Mission Impossible. That was good. Okay. Tom Cruise is still doing his thing. Yeah. Uh, I watched Hereditary, which is horrific. It shook me to my core. Yeah. Wow. All right. It All did. Right. If you don't like scary movies, don't go see it because it's weird. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a big movie goer. Oh, thanks for answering those questions. All Thank right, let's get so to much. some audience questions. Who's first? Right here. Hi there. Hey, what's up? Uh, what's the inspiration for the art of the single Pull Me Deep? Um, yeah, it's a lot of different inspiration. I was writing records that had to do with heartbreak, kind of keeping myself shut off and closed off. And um, this is the first one where I was like, I'm tired of being there. So I think this one just kind of helped me. I want to write some love songs now. Nice. Thanks for that question. Who's next? Right here. Hey, what's up? What's good, G? Uh, when, do you have any future songs with Kendall? No future songs with Kendall. No future songs? We, we uh, talk about getting in the studio. We just haven't done it yet. We've been busy. Just working on it? He's, he's, a, great, he's a great writer. So, yeah. I mean, we've written tons of songs together. We've written catalogs together. We've written albums together. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> it's always a good time. All right, man. Thank you. Something to look forward to, maybe. Um, all right, last question here we have time for. Hi. Shout out OG shirt right there. This, I had to dig this out just for you. I love it. Um, I was wondering about some of the producers that you worked with on the album and the relationships that you developed. Um, yeah. Uh, I worked with a guy named uh, Raz, or at least that's what I call him. I've always called him. Here we go. Yeah. If he's watching this, that's a shout out. He'll love that. <laughs> he'll, he'll love that. Uh, he's He's been a great friend and a great um, person to bounce ideas off of and, and really... Um, really let me have my space to carry out my vision. And sometimes it's hard. There's a lot of people who have their own ideas, but he's been very um, instrumental in, in kind of uh, helping me helping me do what I do. And uh, one of my best friends. So he, he's one of them, and I'm working with um, a few different people, really talented people, pull me deep. Um, a guy named Nick Seeley, yeah, So Fly and Nias, and they've just done some really incredible work. So yeah, always, always uh, growing and always learning and always meeting new people. Well, thank you so much for those questions. And thank yeah. you, Logan, for staying with us this afternoon. Uh, the, new album, the new single is out now. It's called Pull Me Deep. And it stick is. around, performance live. Let's do it. Give it up one more time, Logan Henderson. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs>